right, go ahead and give me one shot. It's the story that has the entire nation talking. All right, pull out a gun. A nine-year-old girl accidentally shoots and kills a gun range instructor with an Uzi, the tragedy sparking a huge debate. How could this even happen? A nine-year-old with a full auto? How young is too young when it comes to guns and children? Plus, are school bells going off too early? Some doctors say classes should start later in the day. Will more sleep for kids lead to better grades? Hello, everyone. I'm Murray Feldman, and for Huel Perkins, he'll be back on Let It Rip next week. With us tonight, quite a panel. Rick Ector, a gun instructor in Detroit, teaching people, sometimes young people, how to handle firearms the right way. Dr. Gerald Shiner is back on Let It Rip, a psychiatrist who will weigh in on the topic professionally, also personally. She's known as the people expert, author Sabrina Jackson, here to include a parent's perspective to guns. <laughs> And Fox 2 legal analyst Charlie Langton, co-host of Let It Rip Weekend, taking a closer look at the legal issues on the topic. But I want to start tonight with a video of what happened when the instructor was shot and killed. Here we go. All right, go ahead and give me one shot. All right. All right, pull out a gun. The recoil from the powerful weapon sent bullets spraying over the girl's head and in the Otherwise, direction of the instructor, part, okay? killing him. Rick, you watched that video. What was wrong there with that scene that you saw? Uh, principally, uh, first and foremost, I would question that firearms instructor having that particular firearm available to that student. She's quite young, uh, wasn't that big physically. Uh, anything could happen. If I was to have someone shoot a fully automatic firearm, especially if that is that small and that young, I would be in better position to help that young person control that firearm such that there would be a safe environment. What's, what's the kick on that, Rick? What's the kickback? Well, it, dep recoil? it depends on what the recoil is, but if you're shooting in, in, mo in multiple succession, rapid fire, full auto, you're going to still feel each recoil every time. And we're talking several bullets being uh, dispensed from that firearm uh, within one second. So, yeah, it's an obvious issue, a training issue. You know, I don't like to kick uh, dirt on the deceased, but I put the bulk of the responsibility on this incident on that firearms training. All right. You've talked about the word recall a couple of times. In the industry, you know what it is. Even in the hands of an expert, high-powered guns can be challenging to handle. Chief Gun Instructor Neil Emanuel from Action Impact shows us right now recoil. Here's a demonstration. And let's take it for a, uh, let's shoot a few rounds with it and just see how it will work out. When I was shooting in the semi-automatic mode, it was very controllable, no doubt. But once I started to rapid fire in the semi-automatic, it wasn't even fully automatic, the gun was jumping a little bit up and to the left as well, even in my own hands. Even in his own hands. So the question is, was she too young? Should the instructor have held her, held her arm? when she was doing that? If Should were, she have not done it at all? Well, I, I probably would not have had a, a person that young and that small wield a firearm in full auto, but I mean, if you're gonna do it, you know, do it safely. If he had to position himself and to help her hold it and control it, if they absolutely positively had to shoot it. You know, I've trained young uh, people as young as 9, 10, 11 years old to shoot firearms, and it is a safe activity if it is done safely with a firearms instructor who is making safety a priority. From a parent's perspective, Sabrina, can it ever be safe when you have a child that's young? Absolutely not. I think that when you talk about an eight-year-old or a nine-year-old shooting a fully automatic gun, absolutely not. There's a reason why there are things that we wait till they're older for them to be able to do. For instance, to driving a car. You can drive a car at 16 with an adult in you or a licensed driver with you, but it's still not for you to be able to do that on your own. So you're talking about a law there. What about a law here, Charlie? There's no law was broken that we just saw the video. Not one law. Nine-year-olds, theoretically, the only law is that you have to be supervised by someone over 18. I'm assuming that instructor was over 18. But what dummy would give a nine-year-old an Uzi? 
That's ridiculous. We don't need a law here. We need common sense here. I and think we need well, actually, bigger, I mean, actually, what, actually what Arizona's, Arizona's the most lenient state on firearm laws, and they do have a law. You have to be over eight in order to engage in this activity, and you have to be with an instructor. But we have to question, why? Why would you give a nine-year-old a firearm? I agree. Well, why would you give I a nine-year-old this, fire, you this give firearm, a firearm, this firearm, this is not a toy, this is not a game, they're not playing. And I, I agree with you, Rick, this instructor, this instructor paid with his life, but what he did was unwise. But I think what we're going to and, see and, now, and the, thing that I, the thing that I really want to stress is that here in the state of Michigan, if we have individuals under the, uh, under the age of 10, the Michigan Youth Hunters Program allows shooters under 10 to actually hunt under the supervision of a licensed and trained hunter. And that's the thing that I really want to make but sure. But where's the common sense here? You don't, hunt with, trained, you don't, sense you don't hunt with an Uzi, do you? I, I don't, but you know what? Here's, here's the point. The point is, is that it can be done safely, and it was not done. But here. an Uzi is and a that, close combat weapon. And that was weapon. the principal issue at hand here. There's no reason why a responsible gun owner would not want to ensure that their children were trained with but firearms. Listen, there, there are, but if listen, only to keep children but, from, but there from, is some from benefit, having a though, sense of, having of kids, awe with them. But there is some benefit of having kids learn the proper use of a gun. Absolutely. It teaches them discipline, it teaches them maturity, and there's a certain amount and of respect safety. for and that safety. weapon. And, and safety, safety is, as well. primar yeah. is well, primarily it important. Here. I'm not so sure we need a new law. Well, we let me say this. Parents. Where's those parents in this? Well, let me say this. This is not the first time this type of incident has occurred. In 2008 in Massachusetts, an eight-year-old with an Uzi shot himself in the head. So Same kick, same recoil. Recoil and kick. So we have to be more responsible as the adults in the situation because the one thing I keep hearing Rick say is that under the responsible act of an instructor, that was an instructor. And he had an instructor's license. So he was a person that if I was a parent and that was my right, that I would trust that he was going to do the best thing. But as we see, he did not. Let me throw and, out and, something and, else and, and, here. And, and, Wait a follow second. follow up on just, that. Excuse me. Let me just throw out something else. This is a family, as you pointed out in the break before we hit, that was on a vacation. They were on a vacation. They were They're not used. They were from New Jersey. Many times, parents, I'm talking to all of you, we go out on a vacation and we look at something that happens normally in that community and we say, hey, let's try that. We can do that. And we might not have done it in the confines of our own community here, but out there, it seems to be different. It seems to be safe. And what about that? Well, if you take into into uh, uh, to account that they're from New Jersey, you know, there's a lot of gun control in New Jersey. Maybe there was a lack of familiarity with firearms and firearm safety. They fly to Vegas. It's only an hour away from this burgers and bullet joint. They say, hey, let's go ahead and shoot. But you know what? Had they had, I believe, a little common sense, a little reasonable parental concern and ensure that everything was going to be done in a safe fashion, maybe we wouldn't have this they situation. They call this but, burgers and bullets? But common you know sense it's a tourist trap. Come common on, sense, common, common sense isn't common. It's, it's uncommon. This was not a game. This weapon was not a toy. And this isn't a child's activity. Now, There's the nothing to stop a, a child from doing this activity as long as it's done safely. This wasn't the, done safely? It, it was not. I concur. And this I was stipulate a, and that. And this was a family that wasn't familiar with this activity. This wasn't a family that was at the gun range every day. So this parental wasn't an responsibility <laughs> is think, an right. important but, but, component. Doctor, do we need the law to come in and ban, say, anybody under well, 18 yeah, from you, practicing? Look, or Charlie, Charlie you know, you can't legislate morality. You can't legislate common sense. You can't make something idiot-proof, but we can certainly discourage this. I'm sure this isn't what Thomas Jefferson had in mind when he wrote the Constitution this, and when he wrote the amendment. This story and I'm has certain generated that during plenty. that era, we also had young people use firearms too to shoot squirrels. This story has generated plenty of feedback. A lot of it right here. A lot of it from you. This one from a Twitter user, Detroit Rant. Such a sad story of parents' bad judgment. Never should have brought the child to a shooting range. Never? We're here, here. About well, that. We, we, we have, have people who Let's get to this other children. one. Hold the thought, Rick, because we're going to come right back to it. On Facebook, Andrew says, I learned to shoot at eight. However, I didn't start off with an Uzi. I worked my way up from a BB gun to a 22 rifle to nine millimeter and so on. First of all, the comment about that first comment. Oh, uh, 
the statement that they shouldn't have shot an Uzi to begin with. Uh, I would not start off a brand new shooter, particularly a youth shooter, with an Uzi because I would have concerns about safety. Uh, bottom line, I believe that if it was me, I wouldn't have done it. But uh, I have no problems with young youth shooters as young as eight, nine years old going to a gun range either with their parents who've been properly trained in safety or under the direct supervision of a responsible firearms instructors. Hunting has a great tradition in the state of Michigan. We have people younger than 10 under the Youth Hunters Program actively and responsibly and lawfully But hunting. you don't hunt with an Uzi right. and you don't put a you don't put a weapon in a child's you're hand getting caught up when on the, the kick, Uzi. I mean, the kick, well that's, that's, it, it that's been, what it, made it the difference. It could have been a low recoil 22. If that instructor is not exercising do care. I mean, it could have been any yes, firearm. But he, but he and, didn't. And, and he you didn't. Know, and you, and you know don't hunt It doesn't even have to be a nine-year-old. It could have been a 35-year-old. It could have been a 35-year-old. Mean, it could have been a 35-year-old. You don't give a child a weapon that has a kick that's greater than her body weight. Well, well you let do me you say know this. Body weight. The, whole, the whole point is well, that it should be done responsible. And it could have been done by a 35-year-old. Well, I'll take it. we got to wrap it up with this. But it's very important that we look at the type of gun that was used. And because that use of the gun was okay, then we need to look at a law that makes the use of that gun not okay. I think for we, a, we don't I think need we a law. Need, we just we need, need common some, sense. Common and we sense need to make sure we exercise Where's the care. parents of this? Where are the parents? And they I, were right there. Who's a nine-year-old? Come on. They were right they there. Work. They don't mix. They don't mix. So what protects her if it's not a law? Exactly. What do you, what do, you do? Well, well, well the instructor paid the they're ultimate price because he's, he's not small. here anymore. He he's paid for his life. He's unfortunately, the he's, he's dead. Gun. Unfortunately. The Give the nine-year-old a BB gun. I don't think anybody wanted that there, gun there gun to be a tragic right. incident. All we need is common sense, training, and due care. The tragedy is for everybody involved, for that poor girl, for her family, for the man's family. Scarred for life. life in the eyes of a professional. Thank you all for being here on this discussion. Stay around because the next one you're going to weigh in on too, Sabrina. still to come on Let It Rip. Tens of thousands of children go back to school Tuesday and we ask the question, are the kids starting the school day too early? Why some doctors say a later start might be better. Do you agree? Stick around.